Here are some drawers that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $350. I knew that would be expensive, but I knew it would be more expensive if I were to build them myself. And I also knew that I was going to be rebuilding the top and redoing some of the things on it. At the end of the video, I will get a cost breakdown of all the materials that are used. So before I get too far along, and you can see all of my son's toys in this, um, I did not. I have to do this two handed. So, you see, my son's already been putting stuff in here. I did not build these, but I have quite the project going on, and I wanted to show the progress that I'm at so far because I'm cutting a board and I'm be adding it to the back, which I'll show you in a second. So, when I got this. These were all dirty, blah, blah, blah. They're 55 inches long. I drove to Pennsylvania to get by them. Um, three quarter uh, on the outside. <clears throat> these are really well made. I, I don't want to pull them all out, but I put these tray inserts in here and I picked it up from Harbor Freight. I think they were 13. Let's see how this shot. $13.99 or something like that. And I think they were 155 inches long or something like that. I bought an X-Acto knife and that's how I cut them. Um, you know, with my T-square. And then I've got this aluminum three quarter and I'm gonna put it around the edge. And then I'll get back to you after I add this inch support on the top. And then um, it also had a base of about nine inches that I completely took off. And then I just went and rough cut a bunch of two by four and laid them on their side and it's holding it up. And I may add something to the bottom. It's a little bit longer, but essentially I'll be able to put my T-square and all my levels in here. And just by accident, I had moved these back on each side and by accident so I can put my T-square in there. If you have sandy, you know, sandy plywood, that is, and you don't want a bunch of tear out, if you're cutting across the grain, just make sure you score it beforehand. Now you could score it, you know, slightly if you had a track saw, but I'm just using a the old razor blade trick. Oh, there you have it. If okay. you have, before I get too ahead of myself, you can see on the back end of these drawers, it flexed a little bit. So I cut down a two by six, but this is really just one inch by one and a half inches all the way across, 46 and a half, 46 and five eighths. And then I made this, it's not that pretty. Um, it's a little sandy wood, sandy plywood. And then I uh, put some spray adhesive on there. And that's just so, you know, I, I wanna access it just in case. Um, and it's a nice little snug fit, it's not crazy. But, and I don't care if someone can get even, even get in the back of that, that's the whole point. I came across an issue yesterday where you can see where these little uh, rubber stop blocks uh, pushed out so I had to push it back in so occasionally I might have to take off this back plate but I also don't like the look of it and this will be at the base of my feet in my van um, when I am turned around in the passenger seat if I do turn around the passenger seat so oh yes and countersunk all these screws and then we are wait waiting for Herkeliner to come in the mail and then once I get that, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that aluminum edging and uh, how I'm going to tape it off. And I'll be doing the whole top uh, plywood with just the herp liner. So one thing I was going to leave out. Got that. And it's probably hard to see because it's pretty dark in here. Sorry for the lighting. Here, I got this thing tipped back. 
But anyway, disregard the sound of the air conditioner. This is the top of it. Got it all sanded and scuffed. And I'm going to apply the uh, percoliner. And I measured, well, I set my pieces of angle aluminum on there. That's how I got the spacing for the tape. I wetted down uh, the edges of the tape like any decent painter would do. I'm gonna roll this stuff up. I'm not gonna film the process. I'll just get you some before and afters. And yeah, hopefully I can get most of this coated in one coat. Do all the bare spots first, then go back over it, and then go back over it in the opposite direction. I know it says it needs two coats, but come on. That was very satisfying to pull off that tape. Turned out okay. The stuff, that grit in there. It's hard to get it spread evenly, and I did mix it up. I'm going to have to take a hammer to the top of the lid. Undecided whether I want to do a second coat, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it turned out pretty well. And then once this dries, which I don't know how long it's supposed to dry. I think it said three hours. Either way, sometime after dark, I'll take, a, take it back inside and screw it all down back together. I know it smells like napalm in here, but this was the effect that I was going for. I know. I know. It's not perfect. So, quick little update. So, I, I, I painted this last night, as you guys seen already. And I took the one drawer out, and of course, you've seen that I glued it. And I noticed on this other drawer, the second drawer, it's also... Uh, broken on one end so I'm going to glue I think it's that corner strap it all off just like I did the other one I added it was a two by six but I cut it down for this railing uh, and then I added this it's about a foot long back there I just wanted to give it some rigidity uh, I could technically add another piece across here if I wanted to make it real rigid but I already had cut that for that which you've already seen so now I'm going to get the aluminum uh, corners on and what I'm going to do for those I believe is just drill and I think I'm only going to do the front one because the only in the front one the rivets won't matter if I have some problem with the back side of it so um so I might just pre-drill all the holes for that. You can see this didn't turn out that great. I didn't use the right roller. I used just like a Sherwin-Williams four inch roller, I believe. Um, and some of the cotton came off of it. And you know, like I got a big spot right there, but it's still curing. So I had to sleep with the windows open because this thing was cooking last night. Oh, and got the uh, GRK screws put in. Uh, uh, they're two inch screws. Um, <clears throat> I had some other screws in here. They weren't quite as long, uh, but I think this fills the void. Okay, I didn't think I was going to, but let's see if we can't get out. Yeah, I may add one here, one here. Might put one in each of the middle. That way it doesn't, there's no play in it. And if there's something leaning up against it, like wood or something, it's not gonna try to rip it off when I try to tie it down. Okay, so I couldn't stop. And I got all the rivets in and I tried to sweep up most of the shavings oh, so my son can walk around here. So 
I got that one all glued up and then that one is done so now I just need to find someone that will help me get it into the van Okay, I just want to get this video wrapped up and over with. Switch it around and see. And I normally keep my little ladder over here, but I'm gonna figure out something else. And then eventually I'll have um, a, I think it's called Stack Smarter or Smart. I think it's Stack Smarter. And it will be for my um, rigid, um, pack out whatever crap you want to call it <clears throat> and it'll be mounted here somewhere then I've got a top that will go on one of the organizers that will hold my um, <clears throat> my little uh, sliding uh, compound miter saw and that will be just if I have to do a few cuts but that way I can always have it with me it does take up a little bit more room than I like I may flip that chair around but overall this turned out pretty good I'm going to have to replace a couple of these rivets with bigger ones. Um, other than that, it turned out pretty good. Of course, I'm trying to do this two-handed, so. Again, the right side. It's more stuff that I use regularly. Get this out of here. Got the... supply house pick this back up and it's got a little detent stuff in here. Get this. I haven't even got room for my finished nailer, but I've got to buy another one, so I've already mentioned that. But yeah, and then uh, there's also uh, Just glad it's all over with. And then there's also uh, uh, those turnbuckles I ordered. I've got to put the in the the little. I can't think what the hell they're called. Anyway, I got to put those on still, so that thing doesn't get sliding. Then, see, I got my T square, six foot level, one foot level, two foot level, and I don't really have anything that are holding them in place, and that may change in the future. But yeah, those and those turnbuckles, that's from U.S. Cargo con Control, and then the um, again, the other thing will be from Stack Smarter whenever I get it. But yep, yeah, thanks for watching.